Hello guys, good evening. This is Matt Anthony IT on Steaming and welcome to my vlog for today. Yes, I will be talking briefly about this um, particular spinach called Alaba spinach. Um, this Alaba spinach is also known as um, Amuno Tutu locally. So I would like to show you how I, how, you know, I actually um, plant it and how it survived up to this present moment and how you can actually um, go about it without um, stress using a um, large piece of land or um, you know a plot of hectares of land this is um, a process or let me say a, a, um, a means by which you can actually eat or consume this um, alaba spinach maybe um, locally or uh, let me say um, you can actually feed your family with it so let's check it out welcome back guys um as i'm saying as i said earlier um this is the um halaba spinach um like you all know this is africa and we have all kinds of vegetables here we have so many types of vegetables and um if you are not told this is this plant is a vegetable you will not know because um actually as i am a farmer i do not know even half of what um some people know locally so i too i actually take my time to study um so many things plants animal and so and some other stuffs so this is um alaba spinach also known as amunututu locally here in nigeria and um, it has some features okay because you can see where i grow this um alaba spinach i grow it um on let me say inside a um cut um keg okay you can see the keg this is the keg so i made a o at the bottom then this is all kinds of um soy uh, mainly it is um loamy soy so i added um animal waste so animal dunk like um rabbits and um poultry droppings so there are some features i would like to show you guys about this alaba spinach like the um leaf can you see the leaf is very very succulent can you see so the leaf is very very succulent and um it i it has um much water quantity okay high water content so if i squeeze it can you see can you see it has more of high water content and there are some other things about special about this particular plant and vegetable okay it's also known as crawler okay can you see so it can crawl from where where you plant it to a very large extent can you see so can you see so it can crawl very very fast and it is also known as um war climber because as you can see before you know it within a short period can you see it will actually climb and crawl can you see so i eat this very often with my family because it's very rich in um vitamin a vitamin b um vitamin c as well can you see the nature is awesome so um this particular vegetable is um an afro asian plant yeah okay and um the leaf is very very succulent like i said earlier and um it is both annual and perennial type of plant okay you can see it during the wet season and you know dry season unless 
you you know actually um, take good care of it because I wet this very very um, you know every day okay and the more you even cut it the more it spread can you see what is happening so the more you cut like this the more it sprout it will sprout up again and start you know another fresh leaf so it is very very um, good to consume this because it is high in calcium can you see even the leaf although sometimes the leaf do wither due to maybe change okay change of weather can you see this so but when you wet it you water it okay every day it will start to climb can you see it will start to climb tree or walls okay so and the seed is very very um special because with a little i want to can you see the seed here can you see this is the flower whitish okay so this is the seed this is the seed with me so um it is also rich in protein okay protein and soluble fiber so by you can actually try this at home you know um look for something um you have done for several you know let me say let me say several years like um bucket or pill or drum okay then actually this seed is very very active even though it is not dried okay you can actually spread it and you know faintly okay just spread it on top of the soil then just um a loamy soil is awesome then apply a little bit of water so that's it so it doesn't mean uh, you need a plot of land hectares of land although if you want to go into this type of farming okay this type of um crop um farming like this vegetable um spinach alaba spinach you can actually go for a large hectare plot of land but if it's just your family okay your friends your relative something like this is awesome so thanks for watching this is matt antonite on steam it and this is how i produce um alaba spinach for my family and family and friends so you can always go for this idea god bless you